Hi! Welcome to this episode of Handy Mandy TV and this week we're going to be continuing uh, with some art with makeup and last week we did this one and with the Pander's tape on the edge it gives a nice finish so it looks like an actual you know, art piece a little bit more professional. Um, this one is mostly using uh, powders and pushing it in. There's a couple eyeliners up in here that I've used or eye or lip color liners and I use some um, like an actual eyeliner which is this Echo brand from Ardennes. Of course there's wrapping on it. We'll see it later. Um, so I use black for this one. We're going to be using navy for this one that we're doing right now. And um, instead of using the powder, the, we're going to make it wet. So I'm using, um, this is my inspiration picture which is of course water themed. Um, I've done some basic sketching and we're using watercolor today so that the water and the colors will adhere a little bit better. And I do have some uh, liquid eyeliners and some creams. Now although, as I've stated in my previous video, um, the, anything that has like a, a formula to it, to the makeup products like creams and eyeliners, like the liquid stuff, um, they will fade faster over time than the powders. So if you can use as much powder then um, like if at all you can stay away from the creams that would be best then your artwork will last longer. Um, either way we're going to be taking some hairspray. Just it's nothing too you know expensive or extravagant. You just need it to hold um, all your powders in place especially if you're not using it with water as we are today. Um, so you can buy the makeup individually and stuff, but I find that these makeup palettes will work best. So I have this one, and I have this one right here, um, which has multiple compartments underneath, but I don't need any lip glosses or liners today. Um, we're not going to make, uh, I'm going to use just paint brushes versus my makeup brushes like I did last week. And so grab yourself a towel, a little cup of water. A palette in case, like say this one um, is actually in the container, so um, I'm actually going to probably, you know, dump some out and then mix it in here, so I have that handy in case I need it. And the uh, watercolor paper is uh, Strathmore Cold Press, and it's a heavy weight, so the heavier it is, the thicker it is, and the more water you can actually absorb into the paper. So you won't have to worry about, you know, the paper crinkling all that much. So I put it on this wooden easel and I put painter's tape on it and I've measured a half an inch on all corners so that it's got an even frame like the one from last week. And now we're going to get started.